Good evening, my name is Marlo Jones. I'm the assistant fire marshal of the city of Petersburg. What we got going on right here, I want to share with you. Uh, we got a dryer that's caught on fire. And I want to share some safety points with you because we want to prevent this from happening to you and anybody you may know and love. Uh, so follow me, we want to talk about some safety points. As you can see, the whole dryer was engulfed in flames. And this particular dryer didn't have anything inside. You know, so what happened, there was a short dealing with the electrical system and components of this dryer. And I'm gonna point out some things that I want you to make sure when you finish watching this video, you go home and you check it. All right, first thing I want you to do, check your lint trap. Always check your lint trap. You wanna change your lint trap before every use of your dryer. So you wanna take it out, dump it out, throw the lint in the trash. Also, at least once a week, get your vacuum cleaner and suck out all of the excess dust in your lint trap. Another thing you need to check out on your dryer, no matter what the model is, new or old, you want to check out your switches up here. See, you want to make sure, see you hear the clicks? You want to make sure, right now this looks like it's off, but check this out. One more click. Now it's off. So if it sit, as long as it sit in a partially on position, you got activity going on in this dryer. So you want to make sure you got the last click. Even if it stops on its own, check it and make sure you got the last click now we're going way to the back uh, I'm gonna get my friend John to talk about the cable and cords hello my name is John Congo electrical inspector for the city of Petersburg Code and Appliance and as Marlo has shared with you on some of the things do's and don'ts on dryers electrical dryers looking at the cord the appliance cord is a short cord but it's attachment to the back of the dryer should be in this collar as you notice you can see the strands a wire that is exposed that can have current on it which can cause an electrical short as well as the plug-in which is all all intact and tight but be sure to check your cord in to make sure that the collar is locked tight into the back of the dryer also looking at the back of the dryer you can see where all the electrical components did burn and catch a fire uh, due to the current rise going through it and the short in this instance, it did not trip the 30 amp breaker in the panel, but the owner was able to just go ahead and, and turn the breaker off, which killed power rather than to unplug the dryer, which was the smart way, the simple way to isolate the electrical fault. Thank you.